Nina and Elizabeth, welcome to the Podcast Masters tutorial video. This is how you guys are going to record from now on without me. I don't have to be involved. Lucky I can, you. I can, I can be at peace. <laughs> Finally, here's what you're going to do. Both of you guys are going to have almost the exact same setup. So first of all, open QuickTime. Just search for QuickTime, or you can go to your Finder and go to your apps and look at QuickTime. Just open it. I don't care how it happens. No window will pop up, but QuickTime is open here in the bar, you can see. And then open Zoom. Nina for Zoom will have to log into my account. It should show up automatically. Liz for Zoom, you can create your own account. It doesn't matter for you. It's just Nina is recording the Zoom call, so she has to be on mine for that. Okay, make sure your mic is plugged into the computer, USB. Make sure your headphones are plugged into the back of the mic. Liz, I don't remember exactly which mic you have. I think it's an ATR something, so it should be exactly the same. So headphones go into the back of the mic. So in Zoom, first of all, hit the Zoom menu, click Preferences, and we just want to confirm that the mic is showing up in the, uh, the audio panel here. We're going to make sure that both of these options are selected at the ATR USB microphone. What does ATR mean? That's what the name of the mic, just called an ATR. Ah. As long as both of these are selected, you should be good to go. Um, that's it for the Zoom for a second. And then we'll go back to QuickTime. And you want to hit on the QuickTime menu, go to File and go to New Audio Recording. Do you not need GarageBand anymore? No. And the way that you select the mic here is with this little arrow next to the record button. So again, click that and make sure that it says ATR USB. Okay, now, Nina, you on Zoom will have to go to meetings and have to look here and start the Wine and Shine recording. Okay. Okay. So you click start. And I will change this so that it starts recording it's so dark. So that it starts recording right away so you don't have to worry about it. So does Liz need to have the link to get into? She needs the link, but once she gets on the call, she doesn't have to record on Zoom or do anything else. She just needs to join the call. Okay. Okay. Um, and then for both of you, once the call starts, go back to QuickTime, and then you can start recording on QuickTime as All well. All I press is that. Just the record button in the middle. So That's Zoom it. and and you should see this button here. Right here on the top. Oh, I have to record on Zoom. No, too. I'm going to set it so that it does it automatically. Oh. But you should see that oh. that thing. Is that like a backup? We're recording both. And then oh. you should see uh, this recording as well on QuickTime. So before you start the actual interview, make sure QuickTime and Zoom are both going together. Okay. Okay. Just confirm that. And then you're good to go. And then when you're done, just click stop on QuickTime. And then click... And meeting on Zoom, it's over. Last thing, don't mess this up or else we'll lose it. Zoom will start to convert the file for you automatically. When it's done, have to leave the computer open while it does this. How do I save it? It's sa that's what it's doing right there. When I just click end, it just saves. It starts saving it right there for you. Okay, that's okay. nerve wracking. And then QuickTime. We'll leave this window open when it's done recording, and you need to click Save. Now, the tricky part is where you're going to save it and then upload it for us. You can make a folder if you want. So, like Nina... Make a folder for me. Move this so you can see it. Save. Uh, you guys, we had the Wine and Shine recordings thing. Yeah. So, you can just put it in there. So, save both of these as the same thing. So, we'll do... Uh, test, and then I put the date on there. That helps us know what's what. Test 6-27-18. That will save. Quick time is done. <clears throat> and then uh, Zoom will take you right to the folder when you're done uh, with the recording. <coughs> now, I want to make this as easy as possible. So why are there three things in that folder? Well, there'll be more once you have more people. So basically, you have one file from QuickTime. 
and you're going to have multiple files that say audio from the Zoom recording, and we need all of those together. So whatever is easiest for you guys, if you want to, once the Zoom window pops up, if you want to just drag this over here. Just the one that says audio? Correct. Am I going to have three that say audio? There'll be audio for every person that's on the call, yes. Okay. And then, like you've normally done in the past, Nina's done this, Liz hasn't, so Liz, pay attention. Well, you've done it for inspiration. So the file from Zoom and the file from QuickTime, both of those need to be selected. And then right click and hit compress like you've done in the past. Yeah. And again, you want to name that the same thing. And when it compresses into one thing? It will take all the files and put it into one thing. Okay. And then label that correctly and then throw it in Dropbox for us and that's it. Okay. So like I said, the tricky part is the saving of the files because there's so many. So once Zoom is done, let it convert and then it will open this window for you automatically. Is there any way that I would lose the files? If Well, if you sent us the QuickTime file but not the Zoom file, that would be a problem. But is there any way it wouldn't save the files? Only if the computer would just like randomly crash or okay. if you forget to plug it in. Plug it what? It, oh. Okay. Hmm, the power. Yeah. Yeah. So just be careful with the saving of the files and make sure that you have the ATR selected for both before you start and you should be pretty smooth sailing. Okay.